Previously on Deep Cuts. Wait, what's that? Uh, a, a package, I think. Open it. What the hell? What is it? It's a book. Mystery Treehouse number four. It's a book about us. Oh, God. Open it. Open it. Mystery Treehouse number 18. The death of Andrew? Wait a minute. That was a fake cover. This isn't some dumb children's mystery novel. It's the Squampanomicon, the most sacred of evil texts from the deep depths of space hell. Oh my god, a portal is opening up in the TV. Ah! Well, hello to our lovely studio audience. I'm your intrepid boy host, Choo Chee Woo Chee. I'm just so obsessed with Choo Chee's original stuntman. He's so agile. Look at the way he's running. It's like he's, it's like he's hopping but with one leg, but with two legs. What? My name's Devin Rex, but people call me Rex, and this is my buddy Sherman. Isaac Sherman. The other guy's some kind of half-cat, half-human hybrid. Some real island of Dr. Moreau shit. He's so agile while he's beating the shit of that giant squid tentacle. Something about this seems so familiar to me. We had literally just sunk a bunch of capital into starting out our own interdimensional shipping and transport business, and we were going to use the Lincoln Jr. to haul cargo and passengers to different universes and times. Losing her kind of screwed us. Did you say times? Junior sleuths. Meme chefs. Welcome to... Pizza, pizza, paparizza, mimorizza, celebrizza. I officially... Dub myself the champion. Dave, hurry up! It's almost on. Huh? What's uh? What's, what's happening? You fool! Don't you know what time it is? It should be coming on any second now. We'll return with the bacon and legs Miami Nights Halloween special after these messages. Do you like pizza? Do you like memes? Come on down to Pizza Pizza Paparizza's Pizzeria. The world's first meme-themed pizzeria. I'm Pizza Pizza Paparizza. I'm Lil Baby Breadsticks. And, and we, we both, both own Pizza Pizza, Pizza Paparizza's, Paparizza's Pizzeria. Pizzeria. You might recognize us as former child actors and stars of Bacon and Legs Miami Nights. Or perhaps as the Mystery Treehouse Investigation Agency, or the hosts of the semi-popular Deep Dive Explainer podcast, Deep Cuts. We've been getting a lot of requests to open up a real pizza restaurant to share our love of well-made pizza and memes. We opened our very own pop-up restaurant on the corner of Elmwood and Lake. Come on down to Pizza Pizza Paparizza's Pizzeria. Pizza Pizza Paparizza. Come and have a celebrizza. We got memes and pizza and a side of long bread. You gotta try this shit right now. Yeah. Wow, that came out great. We're going to sell so many pizzas, man. We might be able to give up our lucrative day jobs as adult boy detectives and become adult boy restaurateurs. Yeah. What's the matter, Davey boy? You seem down. I mean, I don't know. Do I have to be Lil Davey Breadsticks? What are you talking about? People love Lil Davey Breadsticks. He's testing through the roof with the focus groups. I was reading through some of the comments, and somebody said that they trust you because you seem like you'd let them cuck your wife without being a little bitch about it. That's that's not a positive to me. I don't know why this is not communicating to you, but I, I don't like that. Well, whatever the reason, you're super popular. M maybe even more popular than Pizza Pizza Paparizza himself. What more do you want? Yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I've been thinking a lot about this lately, and things just don't really feel right to me. What are you talking about? I I just... Don't you feel like things are, I don't know, just like kind of off? Oh man, the trick-or-treaters must have come early. That doesn't sound like the usual All Hallows' Eve fracas to me. Maybe it's some kind of flash mob? What is this, 2011? Friend Unit Andrew. Friend Unit Dave. There appears to be a large, unruly mob of protesters outside of the mystery treehouse. Open the window, Zero. What are they? What are they, What are they saying? Oh my God! It's all the meme chefs. They're pissed off about something. Aaron Dockery, Ed Zachary, 
Michael Lindquist? A2 Trey Thornton. Why are they all surrounding the mystery treehouse? I thought they loved us. Look out, someone's throwing rocks. Ah! Ah! Hey, that was a genuine Bill Bixby's Oscar. It cost a fortune. Hey, what the space hell are you guys whining about in here? A protest of some kind, look out the window. Oh, them? Oh, they're protesting Pizza Pizza Paparizza's Pizzeria. What? Why? Haven't you heard of Pizza Pizza Paparizza Gate? It's the new conspiracy theory about how there are children locked up in the basement of Pizza Pizza Paparizza and forced to make all the memes and cook all the pizza. People are pissed off, and uh, rightly so if that's true. What the fuck? Where did this all come from? We've been like open for only a few days. Yeah, well, conspiracy theories spread fast on Hillsmer Chan's message board. Hillsmer Chan's message board? Yeah, I didn't get it at first either, but I guess a lot of these anime obsessed nerds think I'm adorable, so they started calling me that. No. What the fuck is Hillsmer Chan's message board? Oh, well, Hillsborough's pirate music site was doing really well for a while, but then there were a bunch of lawsuits. I had to settle out of court with Imagine Dragons. I was like, oh yeah? How about instead of imagining dragons, we see the real thing? And then I summoned this ancient lizard demon using the Squampanomicon and he murdered everybody in the room. It was really messy and, like, just don't expect a new Imagine Dragons album for a while. But anyway, I got tired of all the drama, so I transformed the site into a message board. Oh my god. You just have a whole other life. I'm so glad I'm not a part of that. Yeah, so anyway, there's this anonymous poster on the site now. He uses the codename Chuchanon, and he claims that he has information about a deep dish conspiracy that Pizza Pizza Paparita is a front for an underground child meme cabal. He's been linking to articles and YouTube channels since the restaurant opened. What the hell? We, we don't even have a basement. What proof do they have of this? None, but ever since you, uh, crowned yourself the champion of the Pizza Pizza Paparita Memorita Celebrita, Whatever the hell that means. They've lost trust in everything you say, and they'll basically believe anything that's the opposite at this point. God damn it, Andrew! I told you this was a bad idea! Chuchanon's been typing out these intricate puzzles for everyone to solve. The last one was really interesting. The result was ultimately a long string of numbers which no one has been able to crack, but you know, it was spooky, so everyone loved it. Why are you allowing people to spread wild conspiracy theories about us on your website, Hillsborough? What the, what the fuck, man? I thought you were our friend. Uh, let me guess. Freedom, Freedom of speech, baby. It's almost like if you just listened to our show, you could save all of us so much trouble. Fuck that. I don't understand why you're working against us, Hillsborough. I feel like we were in a really good place. I know why. You're making money from it, aren't you, Hillsborough? Bingo. I'm making banks selling these idiots chooching on gear. T-shirts, hats, fanny packs, shoulder patches. These rubes will buy anything if you plaster some dumb shit they like on it. Oh, oh, Jesus! They are storming the mystery tree house. They've already breached the underground parking garage. It's only a matter of time before they get into the main house. Oh God, we can't die. We haven't finished the QAnon series yet. Do you have any idea how long we've worked on this shit? Can't you just tell them it's all fake, Hillsmer? It's it's your goddamn site! Impossible. Chuchanon is anonymous. It says it right there in the name. Anon. That's what that means. I, it took me a, a while to figure that out, but I've learned it eventually. Once these things get started on the internet, there's nothing you can do to stop them. Yeah, yeah we, we know! Hmm. Acquaintance unit, Hillsmer. You said the most recent post answer was a long string of numbers. Yeah, here, look at the post. We must go to the 1940s. Approximately Halloween Day, 1941. What? How do you know that? And, and how are we going to do that? You just casually said that, like, time travel is a thing. Time travel isn't a thing. Wait, is, is time travel a thing? I don't think so. I have recently been doing examinations of the Squampinomicon. Hey, stay out of my room, Zero! The principles of the phenomenon known as Space Hell Magic are functionally interchangeable with the properties of quantum mechanics. The same spell that can be used to open up a portal to the Space Hell Dimension can also be used to open a wormhole to another location in space-time. Wow, way to midi chlorine up my shit, bro. And these numbers in the Chuchanon's drop are a space-time geolocation coordinate. Whoever is behind Chuchanon's posts wants somebody, likely us, to go to this time period. Hmm. I guess that makes this a real Mystery, Mystery Treehouse Halloween Special! Number two. There was another Halloween special? Don't worry, you are there for it. It's fine. <laughs> All right.
Right. My calculations have been complete. Friend units, Andrew, Dave, stand on this red dot. And acquaintance units, Hillsmer, speak the ancient verboten incantation from the pages of the Squampanomicon. All right, but I'll have you know that Squampanomicon readings are a fetish in Space Hill. I could charge you money for this show. did travel back to the 1950s. This is the 40s, bro. How can you tell? Because everything's in black and white. That doesn't make any sense. Stuff wasn't actually black and white in the 40s. So you've been to the 40s before? How the hell do you know? Well, now that we're here, what do we do? Find Choochie Woochie. What? Really? I love that show. And the definitely totally real boy detective that it's based on. Yeah, he's our hero. He's the whole reason we became boy detectives. He is also obviously the one behind the Chuchanon account. Wow, what advanced forensic data analysis did you use to figure that out? His name is Chuchi. Chuchanon. Oh yeah. Also, he famously disappeared on Halloween night 1941. Your deductive reasoning is top notch here, Zero. Maybe you're an adult boy detective after all. There is no deductive reasoning applied. His name is Chuchi. Chuch Anon. Wait, I recognize this place. It's one of the shooting locations for Chuchi Wuchi World's greatest boy detective. Dear Space Jesus, how many times have you rewatched that show to know that? I've been a little depressed lately, okay? But we're, you know, not far from the main stage of the show, I think. We should just go, like, check it out, see what is happening, you know? See if they're shooting something. That's a good idea. Somebody there might know where he is. Yeah, we should go there and finish the mission. Not just to see the old sets from the show. That's definitely not what I meant. One black and white atmospheric noir-based trek to the main stage of Chuchi Wuchi's TV show later. Wow. Look at this. This is so cool. It's even better than it looks on TV. And yet just as black and white. I feel like we're really just glossing over this mind-blowing revelation about the nature of our world. Perhaps the light refraction caused by the Earth's rotation is... No. I have got nothing. Hey, uh, what the hell? Isn't that that one cat dude you guys hang out with sometimes? Rex? Oh my god, oh my god, that... Yeah, what the fuck, that is Rex! Rex! Hey buddy! What are you doing here? Uh, I work here. I'm, I'm sorry, do I know you guys? Wait a minute. Hey, stop grabbing my head! No cat ears, huh? Get your hands off that! No tail, huh? Who in all outside are you people? Rex, it's us! What? Carbon analysis shows that this Rex is approximately four years younger than the Rex that we are currently acquainted with. Wow, that's a fancy costume there, partner! And that little red puppet is aces! Are you guys with props and costumes? Oh, uh, yeah. Totally. Yeah, that's definitely our job. I didn't think we were doing the Robots and Aliens episode until next week, but it looks like they upped the budget big time. Swell job, fellas. Real swell. Wait, what do you exactly do on the production? You don't know? I'm Choochie Woochie's stunt double. Oh my god, I knew it! I knew I recognized those agile movements, those precise body contortions, and the pinpoint accuracy of your aerial acrobatics. Hey, uh, guys, um... I'm no time travel expert, but aren't we going to mess up the time stream by talking to the past version of somebody we know? Sounds like some made-up bullshit to me. If I saw my past self right now, we'd fuck. Nobody alive can resist the temptation, and if you say otherwise, you're a fucking liar. Honestly, 
Same. This is all new, unplotted scientific territory. There is no knowing what ripple effects this might have on our future. Hey, uh, is there a chance we might be able to go to Chuchi Wuchi's trailer and have a word with him about, uh, you know, important prop stuff? Like the logistics of canes or something? <laughs> Yeah, right, pal. Chuchi comes to set two times out of the year to shoot close-ups on a closed stage. I've never even met him. What? Really? This is like a Wesley Snipes Blade 3 situation? That's kind of disappointing. Never go back in time and meet your heroes. What was that about going back in time? Nothing. No. no. We're, we're not time travelers who've come from the future. Listen, the only way you're going to talk to Chuchi is if you hike up to Wuchi Manor. Word has it he hasn't come down the hill for a full year this time, but I'm sure whatever cane-related issue you're having can just be addressed with the director. No problem, Rex. We will leave you now. We're gonna go away, because this is definitely the first time we've met you. Ha 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 ha! Finger guns! <laughs> yeah! Thank you for letting us see this stage of the TV show that we love so much. Don't freak out. If you become a cat one day, it all works out. Time travel. I'll have to tell Sherman about this whole thing. I know he was yapping to me about some kind of time travel idea the other day. He'll probably get a kick out of it. Well, I guess we should figure out where Woochie Manor is. It's just up the hill and through those woods. How do you know that? I've been there before. I mean, uh... Heard you guys talking about him so much and decided to look him up so I could be more in tune with your interests. Wow, that is the biggest load of shit I've ever heard. My lie detector sensors are off the charts. But then again, that is simply a constant whenever observing acquaintance unit Hillsmer. I truly do wonder how he is able to sleep at night. With a blow-up doll of Dave's mom, that's how. <laughs> we'll have to unpack that later. To Woochie Manor we go, baby! Yeah, baby! Woochie Manor mission! Woochie, 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 Woochie! Wooch, 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 Wooch. Oh, I hate all of you so much. I thrive on your anger. Wooch, Wooch, Wooch. You're toxic, Zero. You're toxic. You are trying so hard. Wooch, Wooch, Wooch. You know... Part of me was so stoked on the fact that Chuchi Wuchi has a spooky labyrinthian forest leading up to his gothic mansion. The other part of me is, like, terrified. Even for a robot with no capacity for fear, this place is creepy. I now rescind approximately four of my wooches. Yeah, well, if I wasn't so tall and buff, I might be scared, but I'm definitely okay right now. Yeah, that was, that was convincing. <laughs> what was that? My sensors are picking up a life form nearby. Well, well, well. It looks like a gaggle of stinky mortal creatures has wandered into my forest. What the hell? The keeper of the forest? You're real? I mean, uh, who is this weird forest guy who might, like, just using basic common sense and context clues be the keeper of it? really feel like there's something you're not telling us, Hillsmer. Like, I'm like I'm pretty sure, but I'm gonna go on faith that you are telling us everything, so that the guilt of you not telling us will eat you alive, and then eventually you'll have to tell us. It'll just be a waiting game. Ah, yes, the long con. You motherfuckers long conning me right now? Are you fucking long conning me? I, I'm the original long conner. I can out long con either of you. They call me John Connor because my long con is so long that it spans time periods. You're not going to long con me, you hear me? I'll never admit that I've had a previous adventure on the last year's Halloween special where I visited all these locations already and met all these people already and you had no idea about it. I mean, none of that. Yes, little red puppet monster. You seem to already know of me. Perhaps it's time for your friends to become acquainted. Oh, God. He's going to sing now. Oh, cool. I love musicals. Oh. Kind of seems like it's been done before. Hello, mortal creatures. Allow me to introduce myself. I reside in the depths of this wood, protecting it from the likes of you. Thanks for the peace, my friend.
seems like he's got to be a bigger deal than he is. All right, guys. Choo Choo Woochie Manor is just up ahead. Look, there it is. It's so spooky and alluring, and I feel myself being drawn to it like it's a, a dark omen, but also a shining beacon of what I wish I was. Let's go! Hey, uh, Dave, you dropped something. Come on, guys. We'll, we'll catch up in a second, Hillsmer. Oh. Uh, that's, uh, that, that's just, um... Huh, one of the Mystery Treehouse books that Charles Wexler Weller wrote. I was just, uh, I was, uh, I, uh, you know... Uh, book number four, The Case of the Phantom's Cutlass. Why are you carrying this around? I've just been thinking about these books a lot, I don't know, uh, and how they, you know, kind of predict our future sometimes. Yeah. It's weird that we ended up solving that ghost pirate mystery like four months after we got this book in the mail. Doesn't that worry you, though? That there's some kind of force out there that knows everything about our lives and how it will play out. That our entire destiny is just jotted down in, like, some shitty children's book series written by a guy who tried to kill us. Like, nothing we do even matters anymore because it's all just been predetermined by some shitty guy who tried to kill us. How long have you been feeling like this, man? I don't know. Do you ever, like, think about why we became boy detectives in the first place? Of course. We felt aimless after Bacon and Lake's Miami Nights got cancelled, and then we got really into Choochie Woochie World's Greatest Detective. And he always had this segment at the end of his show where he'd deliver some kind of moral lesson to the camera, and then... Season 3, episode 12, the lesson about choosing your own destiny and taking your fate into your own hands. Right. Exactly. That episode changed everything for us. Is that why you're re-watching the show over and over again lately? Jesus, Dave. I had no idea. This whole thing, the books, the way our lives have seemingly gotten so out of hand lately. It's just... It's it's really making me question that idea. Are we really in control of our own destinies? I mean, the whole conspiracy theory movement that was created and based on complete lies about us. There was nothing we could do to stop it. Yeah, but like... Look, Dave. You're not the only one that carries one of these around with you. Mystery Treehouse 18. The death of Andrew. We prevented that, remember? We foiled CWW's plan to revenge murder us for ruining his book deal. He failed. We changed fate. Yeah, but I've been thinking about that. He tried to kill both of us and Hillsmer. His whole murder plot seemed to be pretty evenly distributed amongst the entire team. This book was specifically about you dying, dude. What if the book wasn't predicting the whole murder fiasco thing with CWW? What if it's about, I don't know, something else? Something that hasn't happened yet. Dave, if I ever die, it's going to be at the hands of Hillsmer, I assure you. You've got nothing to worry about. Yeah. Still, just makes you feel like you aren't in control of anything, you know? I carry this book around with me for a whole different reason. To remind myself how close I came to having my fate decided for me. But we stopped it together, man. Just like we set out to do back when we started the Mystery Treehouse. I woke up this morning with a feeling of respite But I got to thinking About how the world just ain't right I blew through my talking points About my bleak outlook on life And I still think so But sometimes, sometimes Talking these things through with friends It is the spice of life And it makes it better Than having some existential fatalistic echo chamber Running through your mind These things that you could say 
They make it better more each day But I don't know if this can go away I feel it deep within my soul The subtle loss of all control And I hope it goes away Maybe you're right. I hope you're right. When have I ever not been right? You were wrong about that whole Sherlock Holmes deerstalker cap not being the novels thing. That doesn't count. One creepy trudge to the front door of Chuchi Wuchi Manor later. Wow. This place is, like, huge. Wait till you see the library. What? Never mind. You think he's going to be okay with us just letting ourselves in? This isn't some point-and-click adventure or some shit where people just let you waltz into their giant manners. Ah, uh, yes, friend unit Andrew, you are alluding to Maniac Mansion, the 1987 PC graphical adventure published by Lucasfilm Games, originally conceived by Ron Gilbert and Gary Winnick. The game was developed over the period of... You suck all the fun out of pop culture references, Zero. Wait, what, uh, what's that? There's, there's a light coming from that door! Oh, uh... Maybe it's him. Let's go take a look. (gasps) Gasp. It's some kind of secret lab. What's with all you nerds and labs? Can anybody have a rumpus room like a goddamn man anymore? Oh my god. There he is. I can't believe we're actually meeting him. Wow. It's really you. The man. The myth. The legend, Choochie Woochie. The Chooch. The grand poobah of boy detectives. And eventually... The grand poobah of adult boy detectives. Hello, Dave and Andrew. You... you know us? I see you found the breadcrumb trail. Oh, and it's led you here, to my mansion, on All Hallows Eve! Wow, I am not a fan of perfectly timed lightning strikes. Is this really the first time in our many years of detective adventures that we've encountered perfectly timed lightning strikes? Dave, I think I'd remember if we ever encountered any perfectly timed lightning strikes. Yeah, I don't know, man. I have no memory of... Perfectly timed lightning strikes. It's almost like every time you say lightning strikes... Lightning strikes... This would be a nightmare for country western artist Garth Brooks because he performed a popular song that prominently featured his singing of the words Lightning Strikes. Wow, Zero. Was that a... Was that a joke? I'm seriously impressed. But that reference is super old. I remember that song playing at the bowling alley when I was a kid, but I always had more luck when a Metallica song was playing. Whenever Garth Brooks played, I could only ever get spares. When they played Ride the Lightning, Strikes. Okay, enough. Okay, enough, 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 enough. No one say those words anymore. I want to talk to my hero, role model, and person I've basically based my entire identity off of. The chooch! What the, what the hell was that? What, what, what was that? Like a, like, a, like a comedy routine that happened in real life? Choochie Woochie, we love you. Why are you posting on a secret image board and spreading all these rumors about us? <laughs> Oh, 
Isn't it obvious? N- n- no, not in the not not really in the slightest. That's kind of why we traveled through time to 1941 and have slogged through this super creepy forest and dealt with apparently sentient lightning. It was the only way I could compel you to figure out a way to travel back in time to meet me. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it! So this whole thing was about Andrew and Dave the entire time. Even when I carve out a little niche for myself, you two shitheads always have to come in and ruin it. I was Hillsborough-chan. It was my time. But why? What do you want from us? Huh? Honestly? I'm tired of Earth. These people. Tired of being caught in the tangle of their lives. (laughs) Ah, yes, you are alluding to the 1986 comic Odyssey published by- Don't make references around him, bro. It's honestly no fun. Reference? What reference? (laughs) This was an original thought from my mind. This isn't a game, Andrew and Dave. (laughs) Last year, on another Halloween night, just like this, I solved my final case. Like you, uh, you like retired? (laughs) No. Of course, I have investigated more crimes, deduced the solutions to more mysteries, and assisted in the arrest of more criminals since then. But... Last Halloween, I finally solved the last original case there was to solve. Every new mystery I encounter is just some amalgam of the older ones. Mixed and matched Frankensteins of sad, creative homunculi. I need only to refer to my deductions from previous cases in order to solve these new cases. (laughs) There are... No new mysteries, you see. No new criminals that can match my intellect. I realized that if I was better than anybody in this world now, the only way I could challenge myself was to look forward in time. And so you used your superior intellect to invent some kind of way to contact the future. Correct. I created this computer that was able to tap into something called the Internet. And through that connection, I was able to access information from the future. Eventually, I discovered you two, Andrew and Dave, the Mystery Treehouse Investigation Agency, two boy detectives just like me, but from the future. And also adults, I guess. (laughs) But this computer could only look into the future, not visit it. Unfortunately, correct. Well, I invented actual time travel in, like, ten minutes. Just saying. I realized something. You two were giving boy detectives a bad name. I had to put an end to it. I had to stop you from tarnishing the calling that is detecting things as a boy. How are we, uh, tarnishing things exactly? I'm not really clear on that. Yeah, I feel like, if anything, we're spreading awareness about boy detection and kind of, like, you know, introducing it to a new audience? Kind of like a, a like a reboot of sorts? You two idiots ruin everything. Boy detection, pirate music sites, unregulated message boards, French bread pizza in the freezer with someone's name clearly written on it? Dave? What does that even fucking mean? You take everything and put butt sauce on it. And I don't like it. Oh, come on, man. You're on Chuchi Woochie's side. No. But only because this guy is threatening our house with idiots from the internet. And I don't want to have to find a new place to live where they make me pay rent. Dear God, I've said this three million times. You're supposed to pay rent, Hillsmer. You just don't pay rent. But I want to thank you, Andrew and Dave. Because you reinvigorated my passion for life, gave me a new calling. I decided that if there were no more mysteries to solve as a boy detective then I could at least use my genius to devise elaborate schemes to destroy the two of you as a villain! (laughs) So your whole plan was just to create like a weird cult on the internet that hates us? Honestly, I kind of got bored of that pretty quick. And then for some reason, I just couldn't stop doing it. There's something about this whole internet thing where you just hate looking at it and everything you see makes you really unhappy. And yet... All you want to do is be on there. That is so relatable. You have no idea. Also, what's an NFT? Wait, so all we have to do is destroy your computer, and then you won't be able to talk shit about us in the future. I'm afraid not. (laughs) You see, 
I've been using information from the future that I found on the internet to develop something even more advanced. <laughs> oh god. What is this gonna be? Did the entire back wall of your lab just open up? What's in that giant vat of pulsating ooze? Ugh. Welcome to the epicenter of Project BDEF Ultra! I've endeavored to evolve the human condition, my poor adult boy detectives, to imbue powers to my fellow mortals, to create beings that can do what I could not. Pass into the future to wreak havoc on the world that has produced something as vile as the internet. And you two smelly assholes! Every test subject I've had has died! Except one codename the bad devoted Eye Fisher. <laughs> bad devoted Eye Fisher? That sounds familiar. Guys! That giant oozing vat is opening up! Some kind of unholy abomination is crawling out of the slime! It's got a giant third eye in the middle of its forehead! Metal as fuck! It's like a Richard McCaslin comic! There are life forms emerging from behind it. Oh god! They're henchmen dressed as, like, one-eyed fish! This is amazing! It looks like something from, like, a 70s tokusatsu! Ooh, I love their tiny little gloves! They're so adorable! Yeah, but what are we gonna do, though? Well, first things first, we got to end the conspiracy theory about Pizza Pizza Paparita once and for all. The computer! Grab it! Get them, my fish putties! <laughs> Take that! You kiss acquaintance unit, Hilsmer? I am surprised. Uh, I guess so. Been alive for like 3,000 years and I'm still learning new stuff about myself every day. They say, be a student of life. Laser phase configuration, 48.9. Uh, 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 Fish buddy! Uh. You assholes deserve to die! <laughs> You're taking being a boy detective and making a mockery of it! A mockery! With your songs, and your stupid mysteries, and your fucking monsters! In my day, we had to solve mysteries with a fucking flashlight! A magnifying glass! We didn't have these space-held roommates and robot sidekicks acting as deus ex machinas for all of our shitty attempts at solving mysteries! God, fucking old head gatekeeper. Take that, and that! I'll have you know, Chuchi Wuchi, that we idolized you, and your words sting really bad, okay? So, all I have to say to you is like, fuck you, dude! Just, just fuck you, okay? Straight from Lil Davy's breadsticks! Being an adult boy detective is going to stay culturally relevant. We have to evolve! We have to change! Having weirdo shit like demons and singing dicks is important for our brand! This is how we pull new people to the lifestyle! Oh god! We're getting overwhelmed! Get off me, you tiny fish-themed henchman! Get off me! You don't even know the pain that's in store for you. You don't even know the torture that I've lined up for you. <laughs> Give me the fucking computer! Toss it over here, Dave! We're going to lose! Oh my god, we're going to lose! What's that? A portal? It's the Lincoln Jr. Hey guys, Rex. And you've got cat parts, but not a cat penis. That part's normal. Uh, okay. Nobody said anything about your weird cat penis, bro. Anywho, Sherman and I were about to take the Lincoln Jr. out for a big delivery when I suddenly remembered having met you in the 1940s, and I figured I should probably come lend a hand with whatever time nonsense was going on. Uh, Zero, quick, give me the computer. Shouldn't we destroy it, friend unit Dave? With one laser blast, I can... Wait, hold, hold on one second, Zero. First, let me just log into the Chuchanon account on Hillsborough Chan's message board and... What are you gonna do? Chuchanon is about to make his final drop. And J.K. Lol. And... Submit. Alright, now destroy the computer, Zero. Let's get the fuck out of here before something else weird happens. <laughs> I'm not done with you, Andrew and Dave. <laughs> 
This isn't the last you will hear of me. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, what are you doing? Wait, oh, hey, put me down. No. <laughs> put me down, stop, stop. Oh my god, that pulsating hell spawn is picking up Chuchibuchi and phase shifting into some dark ethereal realm. Holy shit. Halloween night, 1941. The night Chuchibuchi mysteriously disappeared. Come on, dudes! Everyone back on the Lincoln Jr. Sherman's back in the present making everybody extra fried cheese blasters. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, little Davy Breadsticks. Really? Sorry. Come on, Dave. We gotta go. I just can't believe it. Everything, everything we are is because of him, and it was all a lie. And yet we still kicked his ass and saved the day again. Isn't that proof enough that we're in control of our own destinies, Dave? <sighs> yeah. Maybe you're right. Now come on, let's get back to the Mystery Treehouse and shotgun some extra fried cheese blasters. <laughs> you think I'm gonna say no? <laughs> God damn, I'm really fucking upset right now though. Chuchi Wuchi was a dick. At least you guys didn't meet Megalind. What is it that you're referencing? Ah, uh, yes. Acquaintance Unit Hillsmer, you are of course alluding to Hillsmer's Halloween Special, an episode of Deep Cuts Podcast released October 31st, 2020, the first full-length narrative sequence of the show. It depicted the adventures of then-unknown sidekick Hillsmer Spacha Dinan accidentally opening up a portal to space hell and getting sucked into a torture dimension that served as a perfect recreation of the Bacon and Legs Miami Nights Halloween Special, where he teamed up with the ghost of Paul Lind in order to create a horror-themed parody of the 1970s game show Hollywood Squares entitled Hollywood Scares, ultimately winning the game and returning back to the Mystery Treehouse just in time for Andrew and Little Baby Breadsticks to return home from a Halloween party. None the wiser. Whoa. Meta. Well, that was finally useful for once. The meme chefs, driven mad by conspiracy, appear to have left now that Chuchanan hasn't posted anything in like 15 minutes. What are you guys talking about? You know what, Rex? Don't even worry about it. Let's just chalk this whole thing up to being... Another, another Mystery, Mystery Treehouse Halloween Special. Give me them cheese blasters. help but feel like I've heard the phrase bad devoted eye fisher somewhere before. Wait, isn't that something that was said by that narrator you hired to introduce some of the episodes of the show? Huh? What are you talking about? You know, on the few episodes of Deep Cuts that you hired that announcer to have this whole, like, previously on shtick. He says some weird stuff sometimes. You fucking edit the show. How do you not know this? Dave, I didn't hire that guy. I have no idea who that is. I just assumed you hired him and were secretly adding his parts into the episode when I wasn't looking, like some passive-aggressive thing where you were, like, having your own Dave cut or something like that, and I just didn't say anything. What? Does that sound like something I would do? Wait, so, wait, wait, are you serious? Did you really not hire the guy to be on our show? You had nothing to do with that voice showing up on our podcast. Andrew McLuhan Price. I have no idea who that is. Then... Who the hell is he? Hillsmer's Halloween Special 2 was written by Andrew and Dave and edited by Andrew. It featured Andrew, Dave, Hillsmer, Zero, Rex, Chuchi Wuchi, and a mysterious narrator that I literally have no idea how he showed up on this recording. A special thanks to Brandon Nevitt and Mike Miller for... No particular reason. All music written and performed by Andrew Price, except for the Pizza Pizza Paparizza jingle, written by Andrew Price and Brandon Nevitt. And Goes Away, which has a vocal performance by Dave Baker. Deep Cuts is a production by Boy Genius Media. If you'd like to find this show and others like it, please visit boygeniusmedia.com or deepcutspod.com. If you want to join in on post-episode discussions, please join the Deep Cuts Podcast Facebook group. Finally, subscribe to our YouTube channel for additional video content.